Good afternoon, Plum here playing World of Tanks and I've got to try and be optimistic because the last couple of games have sucked. <laughs> so I've got to really keep my spirits up by just talking in a slightly higher pitch voice than I normally do. <laughs> just to keep that motivation going. One more game. Um, so I've decided to take out this little machine, which is probably not the best thing to take out if you're trying to have a really good game with tanks, because it is a little bit sort of sluggish on the manoeuvrability front, and the gun is yeah, okay if you find weak enough targets that you can pen. Um, yeah, it's better when it's got a slightly better tiering than this. We're in a tier 9 game, and there's quite a few tier 9s on the enemy team. So I'm also platooned with. Crimson, he's in his T-71, so once again it's the battle of the uh, Spick versus the T-71. Who's going to do better? I'd put my money on Crimson, he's a better player than me, <laughs> and he's been playing a lot more tanks than I have lately. And I think he's in a superior machine, so um, I've laid that gauntlet down. Let's see. But like in the match we just had, I encountered a Batchat platoon in my um, RU-251 and I got absolutely decimated. No two ways about it, I got absolutely wrecked. Oh, I would have been in a better spot back there. Come on, reload. Try and get the tracks or something. Come on, come back. Come back, but one more. One more. No artillery to worry about, which is a pleasant change. Didn't think that would go through. But you never quite know with those angles. You think, eh, is it like 10, 12 degrees? It won't pen it. It will just bounce. Instant ricochet. I'm going to go down and work this corner. See if they've got anything else lying back there. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of tanks back there. Nothing I can hit, though. Which is a real shame. Let's go. Shall I go around the corner? <laughs> the Oni's waiting. Go on, big fella. Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's only a tier 7 heavy tank. Now him I can penetrate. <laughs> Hooray! I've done some damage. Now I've got 15 second reload. Uh, Crimson's reloading, 15 seconds left. Let's get over here and do what light tanks do, mix things up a little bit, make things uh, a little bit of hard work for the enemy team. Can't quite see that guy. Okay, we're going to close the net now, I think, on the town. We're going to get across here, try and get some shots on something. Come on, little tank. Get up here. Our team is playing too well. We aren't absolutely walking through this team, but uh, from this point of view, we've got such a good force behind us. Anything we detect, we're just wrecking, it seems. To right, I'll try and get to a spot here where I can aim. Come on, I can reload quicker than you. And <laughs> we actually get a kill. <laughs> am I pleased with that? Yes, I am. I am incredibly happy with that performance of that gun then. Full clip, a medium tank. You're going to pen. You're going to do your full quota of damage. Let's see if we can get behind an E75. I don't like my odds. Not really. Look at the minimap team. We have got a... Uh, enemy tank. Go for the side of his turret. We didn't even them. Go for his commander's hatch and get a little dinky bounce. Can we keep this guy going between us? So if he's going to keep coming towards the Centurion 7-1 I'll just try and go for the side of his turret again. Oh, I desperately wanted that kill shot. So Crimson gets himself a tier 9 heavy tank. That's not fair. He's going to get more XP than me. They're capturing our base. We're capturing their base. Crimson's getting blocked in by an M46 pattern. Hopefully our T-34-3 can disrupt the cap. He has. 
Let's try and keep our two little guns singing here. If we can get behind one of these guys. Don't want to mess this up. This bit of terrain here is tricky. I don't think the Lorraine 40 is going to last very long. We shouldn't have shot him. Nuts. We both die. <laughs> I didn't do my... Oh, see, he's only got 150 left. I could have killed him if I hadn't taken that shot at the uh, Yag Tiger just then. Numpty plum. <laughs> Crimson's being pushed out of the way by the Lorraine. They're both on such low hit points. Just the Yag Tiger left. Come on, Centurion 7 slash 1. What guns are you using? like the Royal Ordnance, I think. And that'll work. We can get back. Yep, side will do. One tank left. E50's duking it out. Oh, he's got no hit points left. I have a so nice quick games, sort of, in our little uh, tier 7. Auto-loading tanks of doom. They can be, anyway. More so the T71. If only had one more shot in the clip, then. I didn't shoot where I aimed at second yeah, 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 going to that. How do we do on the team? Ah, second class mastery. I don't think many people are playing this because that was not exactly a terrific performance. However, on the team we managed to come second and third. And I did just pip you buddy. <laughs> Only just was that spotting damage. Uh five hundred and seventy one. Yeah. What early damage to E so I did get a bit of Damage on the E75, tracking damage, and uh, seven such one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was mixed, but um, not bad performance. Anyway, I do need a um, replay of an IS3 game, please, to pit against one of Oak's uh, subscribers' replays for our next combined head-to-head -head video. So if you've got a really good IS3 game, it can go back quite a few generations of the game. You can go back to I think nine point. Six, I think, as far back as so Oak can go. Um, obviously, we both need to be able to see it. So, um, 9.6 or higher, IS3 game. Maybe check your uh, what replays and see if you've got anything in there. That'd be really appreciated. Represent Team Plum. Anyway, keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and I'll play this little machine next month. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.